Welcome back, MACDJ38 here. And I'm just redoing my how to edit your XP value on a Mac because it's now pretty easy. So go into game mode zero to see how much XP you have. Now you can use slash XP and then use 50 and then put an L after it if you want it to be levels. Otherwise it'll just give you 50 XP, which just makes the green bar move. All right, by the way, I used to do this, which is still pretty cool. Still uses some pretty cool techniques. I'll show you now. It's called MBT edit, which this actually edits the resource files for Minecraft. It's not limited to XP either. You can edit almost all the config files and it doesn't update it. It just, when a new update comes out right away, I can use them, which is pretty cool. So. First, you want to download and install Mono. It lets you run .exe files on a Mac. It's a command line tool. So, going to go to Applications, Utilities, and Run Terminal. I already have it running because I'm running the Velovi server. So, just open up a new one. I'm going to choose a cool theme. You don't have to. Now, you want to either type in the path to this folder or drag it in. Or not the folder, the file. Drag it in, execute, and you're running an exe on a Mac. All right, now you want to open level.dat. If you want to edit a player's files when it's on a server, you'll go into the player's folder. I only have that because I was running this save on a server before. Open it. You may need to navigate to the specific save, but it should start you off near it. If not, it's in your username, library, application support, Minecraft. Then saves, and then you choose your save. Uh, library may be hidden on the default Mac, so you may have to unhide that using an, just search how to show hidden files on a Mac. All right, so here's a bunch of things. Here's a really useful one. If you have a, uh, a world where you couldn't run commands in and you want to run commands, just change that to a one. Hardcore mode, you want to get your map back. I'm not sure if it's possible to get it back, but you're worried you're going to die and you made something cool, change that to a zero. You don't want it to rain. Yeah. Bunch of things like that. Your game type, your, the spawn coordinates, almost everything's in here. But that's not really what we're interested in. We're in the player things. So here's all the data, data for your player. Most of the things are constantly overwritten while you're playing, like if you're sleeping, all those things, uh, your coordinates are in here. Alright, so, but what we're really interested in is the XP. Here's the total, which is just the amount of experience you have, so set that to zero, we'll change the green bar. And this we can set to a thousand. Why not? Alright, now... The idea for using XP is to enchant things, but you can already do that from within this. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how, but you can just edit. These are the items you have. So while I have this up here, I wanted to show you how to turn coal into diamonds. You're going to need the uh, data values chart for this. This is a pretty low resolution. I just got it from the Minecraft wiki a little bigger scroll down one uh i think this is called 173 so do we have i had a coal in my inventory it's 173 and diamond blocks are 57 i now have diamond in my inventory i now have 52 diamond in my inventory I could move it left or right, I suppose. Don't know why I would want to. Uh, this is the pickaxe right here. You can actually add fields, I think. But you can change the enchant level of already existing enchants or change what enchants they are. So, might be sort of interesting. Uh, abilities, I 
believe this is what you can do if you're able to fly. So change that to a one. Uh, I believe black things are binary values, so they can be, or not. I'm not sure what the difference between black and purple things are. It seemed like black and purple, black was always one or zero, so a binary thing, and then purple were, and yellow were different types of variables, but then this has 52 in here, so I'm not sure. But that's all you need to know. Save your edits. And if we want to go back into Minecraft quickly before the end of the video, uh, here if you want to exit it nicely, you can just type exit. Don't really need to though. If you want to go back into Minecraft, I'm not running the latest version of, oh, sorry. You want to go here. I'm not running the latest version of Mac OS X. I'm just using a new background. So as you can see, we now have 52 blocks of diamonds and a thousand experience points and a TARDIS that comes on command. But that's featured in a different one of my videos. I made this, no mods, it's awesome. See, doesn't do anything. Well, that was inconvenient, but it did knock me into the TARDIS. Anyway, see you later, bye.